Welcome to the DIY3DTech.com channel. Welcome to this edition of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to be taking a look at a replacement hot end for the Wanho i3. Uh, thanks to one of the channel viewers, they shared this with me, and I found it very interesting and, and thought it'd be worth sharing with the community as a whole. Um, in, in short, with the hot end here, we have in the original hot end, we have a brass end uh, here, and then we have a uh, uh, section of PTFE tubing and then we have a heat break here and in short the filament feeds down through here this tube into the uh, brass head where it's extruded now one of the challenges with this and if I can get this to scroll down is here it says all metal hot end will let you print at a much higher temperature which that's what I need to do especially since I really like working with the PET-G than possible with the original PTFE lined one another benefit of all metal hot end design is more consistent melt chamber control and again some of the challenges I'm having with the uh, PET-G during slow extrusion rate in PTFE lined hot end transition zone from solid to molten tends to creep upwards creating more stringy prints and again this is all of what I'm seeing um, in in my prints when I'm doing it with the Wanho especially with the PET G where I'm operating at around 260 C so I really really like PET G so I'm going to make this switch so in, in short the, the switch is um, again now this appears to be although I looked in the documentation um, it, it doesn't state but however this looks like it's a it's a, a steel hot end and not a brass hot end and then according to the uh, documentation this the center piece is stainless steel and the aluminum piece is, or the top piece is actually aluminum for heat transfer so uh, in short the heat break happens through this this junction of these two materials and what I really like is that uh, you know the machined is, is two separate pieces and obviously screw together and so I think this will be a very effective solution to this and we can kind of see them assembled here how how they're now uh, the the, the, the heat break portion is assembled and then we have the hot end down here um, so it, it's 3735 so it's a, it's a little bit pricey um, you know compared to you can go on on uh, YouTube and, and buy a complete uh, you know uh, ED5 or 6 clone for 12 to 20 bucks so uh, it's not cheap however I think the quality will definitely be worth it and it does come in in several different nozzle sizes I'm going to go for the 0.4 I think it might be interesting in the future uh, I may try to get a 0.2 and just see how that works you know uh, obviously it's, it's going to be a much finer print and this is what I'm wondering if you know to, to print some very fine things how that would work so if you have experience with uh, say like a point two head or something hey, put some comments below and let me know how that worked out for you maybe share some prints if you've done uh, a video or have some some pictures out there on Flickr I'd really like to see them and share them with the community because I'm really interested in how this would print so um, in short, again, I just kind of wanted to share this this piece with you, and uh, um, you know, I'll, I'll when, once once I get it in, I'll do a video on the whole installation because one of the things I'm also going to do is, is kind of clean up the extruder on the Wanho a little bit. It's kind of kind of Chinese wanky with mix match connectors and everything, so uh, it's part of the whole uh, process of replacing this hot end. I'm, I'm going to um, kind of clean up the connectors and I'll do a video on that and show you how it all comes together. And then obviously we'll do some prints with this and, and some test prints, you know, both before and after, and we'll see how it turns out. So hopefully you found this interesting. And again, if this is something you're interested in, uh, I'll put the link down below so you can get to it. And hey, give this a thumbs up if it helped you. Even if it didn't, give it a thumbs up. It uh, definitely helps promote the video and the channels so more people can uh, experience this. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects.